Hi, Nick Vandekar here with Long & Foster Real Estate, Tradition from Easttown Realtor. A question I get asked many times is what happens uh, to our deposits if we cannot get a mortgage? This really depends how your contract has been written. If you include a mortgage contingency, then if you cannot get a mortgage, then your money will come back to you, your deposit will come back to you, as long as you've been honest in everything that you have disclosed. If you've been fraudulent in any of your declarations, then yes, the seller can hold on to that money um, or file a lawsuit saying that you have um, filed false information. But another instance is uh, builders often want that mortgage contingency removed very quickly and it does put at risk your deposits if you cannot get a mortgage. You can waive a mortgage contingency and still apply for a mortgage but you remove the protections that the mortgage contingency gives you. So for the greatest protection for you as a buyer you should really include a mortgage contingency and that protects one uh, you if you cannot move ahead if you cannot get the mortgage and two secondly it protects your deposits uh, as per the agreement of sale hope this helps and it's another reason why when you're buying a house be it new construction be it uh, resale that you should have an experienced professional real estate or realtor working for you as a buyer's agent